Coca-Cola and Nestlé among worst plastic polluters based on global cleanups. These brand audits offer undeniable proof of the role that corporations play in perpetuating the global plastic pollution crisis. Here's a summary of the article. In Europe, these three companies made up nearly half of this brand audit of plastic, according the Break Free from Plastic, a global movement consisting of nearly 1,300 groups from across the world including Greenpeace, whose member organizations carried out the work. These brand audits offer undeniable proof of the role that corporations play in perpetuating the global plastic pollution crisis, said Von Hernandez, global coordinator of Break Free from Plastic. Of all the brands identified, the teams found that Coca-Cola was the top polluter, with Coke-branded plastic found in 40 of the 42 participating countries. Responding to these findings, a spokesperson from Coca-Cola said they shared the campaigner's goal of eliminating plastic waste from the ocean and are prepared to do our part to help address this important challenge. A Nestlé spokesperson said, Our vision is that none of our product packaging, including plastics, should end up in landfill or as litter, including in seas, oceans and waterways. In order to achieve this, we have set ourselves the ambition of ensuring 100% of our packaging is reusable or recyclable by 2025. The brand audit provides the best picture to date of the brand causing most pollution, and the Break Free from Plastic movement hopes to encourage politicians and businesses to pay attention to these plastic footprints. MEPs can be even more ambitious by enhancing business accountability, and not adding compromises for corporations. Only through ambitious legislation can MEPs keep pace with public opinion and lead in making a world free from plastic pollution reality. This post received a score of 30,296, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. We should go back to the days of glass bottles and returning them for a credit on new refilled bottles. Works pretty well here in Germany. At least with beer. I was with my band on tour in Germany a few years back and we made lots of gas beer money by collecting bottles after our shows and returning them. After seeing that system, I have no idea why we don't do that in America. Your state doesn't have bottle deposits. In Germany, I liked having a deposit for cups at festivals instead of throwing them away every time you get a refill. Greater than your state doesn't have bottle deposits. There's only 11 states that do. Even the ones that do are kind of a joke. In my state you get $5 for like a £30 bag of cans. It's not worth the effort for anyone but the homeless. Recently in Oregon it went up to 10 cents per bottle, and they expanded the range of returnable bottles and cans. In my area we have a return facility where you can either return them at machines, or fill up one of their provided bags and drop them off and they count them for you and deposit the money into your account. If you use the money at participating grocery stores, you get 20% more money towards whatever you buy. It's a great program and I hope other states follow. This program is called Bottle Drop. Just realized I didn't even mention the name lol thanks. Independent.co.uk slash topic slash coca cola closing parenthesis, PepsiCo, and Nestle have been identified by campaigners as being among a handful of businesses that are contributing most to pollution. Independent.co.uk slash topic slash plastic pollution closing parenthesis collected from shores around the world, their packaging was the most frequent identified by volunteers WH conducted cleanup operations from the UK to Vietnam in Europe. These three companies made up nearly half of this brand audit of plastic, according to the Break Free from Plastic, a global movement consisting of nearly 1,300 groups from across the world, including Greenpeace, independent.co.uk slash topic slash Greenpeace closing parenthesis, whose member organizations carried out the work. That methodology is guaranteed to result in consumer products being identified because they're designed to be recognizable. I read recently on Reddit that something like 70% of the plastic garbage floating in the ocean is fishing gear nets, lines, floats, etc. But that stuff is not going to be identified the way a Coke 2L bottle would be. From someone who did one of these brand audits, I can say that it is just that, an added element to regular beach cleans to see what companies are contributing to marine debris via single-use plastic and non-recycles consumer products. Here is the report. This video was automatically created by Reddit to Speech.
The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.